Hi, my name is Anthony. I'm a first year at UCLA studying computer science and neuroscience, and I will be taking you on a day in my life here at UCLA. We are currently in the Court of Sciences where we have multiple buildings such as Mathematical Sciences, Young Hall, Voltaire, which houses the School of Engineering. And this pretty much encompasses the South Campus majority of being able to have a lot of STEM classes and STEM oriented majors focused in this area where we usually uh, have multiple classes ranging from French to math to the hard science to the humanities housed in these buildings as we like to include the interdisciplinary thinking of UCLA, uh, of the UCLA curriculum. So we are currently at the McDonald Research Laboratories, where I currently do research here as a lab associate, uh, and I also uh, work in the lab, uh, where we study pathological diseases and cholesterol and we're able to find these pathological diseases because our, our principal investigator, he combines both the MD side of it and the PhD side of it as he has both. So being in an environment where we get to see the difference between bench science and clinical practice is truly amazing. Um, usually we come here uh, if you're in, in School of Medicine, but as an undergraduate I was able to take advantage of the resources of the School of Medicine and being able to acquire an internship here. So I did research in high school, which led me to a good jump start in acquiring research skills needed for a position here. So during over the summer, I emailed a bunch of professors and luckily I was able to get a position in this laboratory, uh, giving me a head start into my career as a neuroscientist. <music> Yeah, I would definitely invite all high school students or college students in general to reach out to professors they find their, who are doing research that, are, that is fairly interesting, um, to reach out to them and see what they, how they can get involved, even if it's not paid or if it's not necessarily something that's in their niche area. As long as getting some exposure to the scientific field will greatly enhance your skills and being able to go into the field later on. So balancing the work I do in the research lab and my academics outside uh, in the classroom, I tend to do a variety of things. Um, most of the time I'm just taking time to relax and spend time for myself as I believe that mental health is a, is a priority um, because the work here can be excruciatingly difficult and as well as in academics having a lot of projects, essays, readings, problem sets, so on and so forth. Being able to find the balance between those two has been something I've been trying to understand in the UCLA quarter system and so far I've been able to see that as long as I take time for myself, take time to relax and unwind day by day, I find myself in a good position to start the next day. So outside of class, I tend to join a myriad of clubs, one being the Bruin Hyperloop class, uh, or the, the club, the Bruin Hyperloop Club, where I'm able to essentially participate in a SpaceX competition in 2020, where we are trying to build our own um, Hyperloop, where we can transport someone from Los Angeles to San Francisco in a matter of minutes rather than hours or days. So having that, I'm able to combine not only my, my knowledge in computer science, but I'm also applied to a real world activity. Um, some <laughs> uh, interjection of that, it would be my judicial board uh, appointment where I currently serve as a justice on the UCLA USA judicial board where I'm able to review cases held against the undergraduate student association and review them to receive a fair uh, decision on those. Uh, I'm also involved in the uh, ACM chapter here, which is the Association for Computing Machinery, where I am trying to develop my skills as a computer scientist, whether that be through hacking, through web hacking, through web development, uh, project development, so on and so forth, as I'm able to enhance my skills outside of the classroom.
So this is Engineering 6, one of the newest buildings on campus. Uh, here we have a lot of research laboratories where we provide cutting edge research in the School of Engineering. Uh, I have a lot of info sessions and, and seminars here pertaining to outside experience such as career fairs by Google, Facebook, um, all these other companies that provide a myriad of resources for students in the School of Engineering to come out and put their knowledge into, into real, world, real, world, real world use. Um, being here we have a lot of cutting edge research like I've previously mentioned which inspires us to use what we know in the classroom and apply it to our daily lives. So as a first year, I haven't been able to experience much of the academic culture so far, but based on what I've seen, it's very rigorous. Uh, there's a lot of readings, there's quite a bit of projects and essays due each week, and since it's on a quarter system, having such a condensed schedule can put a lot of pressure on you if you start falling behind and so on and so forth. So being able to come to a school where they make you stay on, on top of things is beneficial in most of the ways. In some parts, obviously procrastination can occur, but as long as we're up to date on our, on our readings and our material, we should be fine. So majoring in computer science and neuroscience can be a, a task in and of itself, um, but primarily what it would require of it is my computer science major is in, housed in the School of Engineering, and my neuroscience major is my double major, adding on to the, to the primary major of computer science, where I pretty much have a different course line, uh, but do, using the engineering school's uh, technical breadth, I'm able to take my biology uh, courses as I need to go into pre-med. Uh, having that, I'm able to combine both neuroscience and computer science. And coming in as a high school student, I completed my general education courses in high school at a community college. So having that also gave me a leg up in my process to double majoring in these two fields. So being pre-med to me is mainly a lifestyle rather than just a track. Um, obviously, if you're pre-med, you, you have a desire to go into medicine, but you're also taking these courses where you're diving into more of the complex nature of our, of our lives, right? You're going into biology, chemistry, physics, math, so on and so forth, where you have these courses teach you about the anatomy of a human. And being able to apply that knowledge into the real setting, whether it be through computer science, whether it be through neuroscience, can be a, can be a fascinating endeavor in and of itself. So combining computer science and neuroscience in the near future is going to be so fundamental to how we view our, our, our scientific fields is, is where it excites all of it. So having done research in high school and currently in college, I'm able to find what I'm learning in, in class and seeing how can I improve on this in the lab? How, how am I changing what the world is going to look like in five years, ten years, and even though it may be very small, maybe just a line in the textbook, it still provides you with the sense of gratification that you're actually doing something to better this world. So we are currently on Kirchhoff Hall, uh, where we, a lot of the student organizations are, are held, such as the undergraduate student government, uh, Bruin Democrats, our Daily Bruin, our Bruin Republicans, um, our newspapers, a wide variety of different organizations run by students and it's, it's a nice place to go and unwind and being able to talk to other people who are trying to get involved as you are. So coming to UCLA there's a multitude of resources and um, I would say opportunities to get involved in campus um, and not just inside the classroom, outside the classroom, but in general in such a dynamic and vibrant city as Los Angeles. Uh, there's a lot of social life here where we are able to have frat row, sorority rows um, next to campus where we have over a thousand clubs uh, run by students where we have our the, one of the largest student-run um, undergraduate associations in the nation. Uh, we have a lot of uh, opportunities to go to the beach um, on Sunday since it's so close, go hiking, going to museums and national monuments uh, and nearby so having that around is, is is destined for people to come out and explore the city of LA um, especially when we have downtime or especially when we don't have as stressful midterms or weeks that uh, that lead up to exams so having that around this campus is definitely a plus and being able to have 
a multitude of, of resources and opportunities to go and explore the city of LA. If you like this video and want to know more about top colleges, subscribe to Crimson Education and follow them on social media.